He sat alone in the chair of torture. Great drops of perspiration stood upon his brow, and a pale, evil face looked down upon him. Go on, he said. Go on, and a hollow voice shrieked in his ear. Haircut or shave, sir? <laughs> What do we see on our bookstalls? What do we see in the news? What do we see in our up-to-date plays? What do we see in reviews? We live in an age of excitement and we long to be carried away by something that's thrilly and knocks us all silly. So let us all stand up and say Hats off to Edgar Wallace Look what he's done for me. I long to be known as the new Sweeney Todd. I want to be chased by the whole flying squad. I'd love to see Gerald du Maurier perform in a pale green line with audience shrieking and every act reeking of crime, crime, crime. I've purchased a gun and a bludgeon, developed a cynical grin. Oh, I'm longing for someone to call me a crook and think that I'm covered in sin. I've already killed the canary and I've frightened two girls in the park. And now I am waiting with heart palpitating to strangle our cat after dark. So hats off to Edgar Wallace. Oh, look what he's done for me. I long to get hold of some beautiful lass and watch her expire in a tank full of gas. I want to see Miss Gladys Cooper strangled by villains in bed with the audience screaming and all the stage teeming with dead, dead, dead. So hats off to Edgar Wallace. Now look what he's done for me. I want to hear horrible shuddering screams. I want to be frightened to death in my dreams. I long to hear somebody's body fall with a sickening thud. So hand me the shivers and let me see rivers of blood, blood.